this is the most important election of our time, um, particularly when it comes to abortion rights. So I would love to ask you, what do you feel is at stake in November? And do you think there's a possibility that we might get a federal ban on abortion in the United States? Ooh, this is a big question. It is the most consequential election, especially for abortion rights right now. There are two current, while this is not election related, there are two Supreme Court cases this year. One we heard a few weeks ago looking at access to, to the abortion pill. Um, and there's one that's being heard this week as we're doing this recording that's going to potentially decide whether states or hospitals have the ability to deny life-saving later abortion care that is ter a terrifying prospect and then that brings us to the presidential election there are a number of very big very well-funded anti-choice groups that have put a plan together called project 2025 i encourage everyone to look it up and just be aware of what these groups are proposing if Trump wins. Day one, they're going to give him the tools, give him the avenues and the loopholes and the education and the know-how. He ain't too smart, let's be honest. <laughs> right. They're going to give him the tools to be able to ban abortion in a way that can bypass Congress, bypass all the, you know, the, the, the hoops that he needs to jump through, the executive orders we're talking about. And so that's something to really be aware of. I know that candidates are not necessarily people's favorite people. We're not trying to have a beer with these people. We're not trying to be best friends. But what is at stake is the ability to make decisions for our lives. And if Trump gets in, I mean, look, last time in 2016, he said, if I win, I'm going to appoint pro-life judges and overturn Roe v. Wade. Look what he did. And that is exactly what happened. That yes. is exactly what he did. Like the only time he told the truth. Yeah. The, exactly. exactly. <laughs> and not only that, but there may be some other Supreme Court justices retiring. Do we want yeah. President Biden to uh, nominate a new justice or do we want Trump to put another potential three justices on the mm -hmm. Supreme Court, which would be devastating for future generations. So these are Literally. things to think about yeah. and this is what's at stake.